Hi, and welcome to another Turn Left Motorsports Tactical Talk. Today we're going to be deciding whether we should keep running the stock tank or upgrade to a top plate. So the stock tank is pretty self-explanatory. It's free, it comes with the motor, it's straightforward, it's there, it bolts on. So I understand why people like to run it. Uh, usually if you're running a stock tank, you're running the stock throttle plate, which can kind of suck. Uh, but there are aftermarket throttle assemblies that bolt onto the recoil here and give you the throttle that a top plate kind of has. Very similar. This is the top plate. I got this one from BMI Carts. Uh, it costs about $22. Don't hold me to that. Going off memory. Um, pretty standard. The throttle cable comes through here, hooks to this arm, actuates the throttle. Very solid spring on there. Fuel pump mounts up here. I got the pulse port line hooked up and I use the stock gas line here. It barely reaches, but you can use it in a pinch. Let's go through some pros and cons. We'll start with the stock tank. The biggest pro is there's no additional cost. It comes with the motor, it's there. And there's another pro is there's no upfront work added to it. It's again, it mounts right there, it's good to go. So now let's talk about the cons. The biggest con I'll start with is throttle reliability. If you're using a stock top plate, or throttle plate, whatever you like to call it. The mounts for the throttle cable, they're adequate, they're okay. They're good for running power equipment, but for the continued use and pressure that we put on them, running them on a go-kart, they tend to move. So often you will lose full throttle ability, which sucks, you want full throttle. And also it can cause some issues on throttle sticking open or hanging up or and that, no, that's good. These throttle issues could be solved with the throttle mount that mounts on the recoil. But at that point, if you're spending money, I suggest looking into a top plate, if possible. The next con is the weight. It's not significant, but these tanks are heavier than the plastic tank. So overall, this is going to weigh more than your plastic tank, top plate, fuel pump, all that together. And also the weight is up high and towards the back of the cart. The next con is if you're running an angled motor mount, which I think pretty much everybody is, most carts are, you have to have your fuel almost always full. If you have it half full, you imagine your fuel line being like this and your pickup for the gas is at the back of the motor. So if you don't keep your fuel tank full at all times or you're trying to run a long race, chances are you're gonna run out of gas. The last con is vapor locking. The vents on these tanks are not very good. They don't, they like to clog very easy or they come from the factory clogged it seems. Vapor locking is as gas leaves the tank, air must go in to replace the void that the gas left. Oftentimes what happens is it acts like people run out of gas out on the track. They crack their gas cap and they see plenty of gas. Now, if this happens to you where the motor just stops all of a sudden, you're running the stock tank, crack that gas cap right away. And if you hear a little bit of a vacuum noise, you're definitely vapor locking. A lot of people will drill a hole straight through the gas cap. Obviously, don't do that while it's on the tank. But they'll drill a hole straight through the gas cap to give it a manual breather but dirt and debris can get into that hole. So it's not the best solution. Let's talk the pros and cons to the top plate. We'll start with the pros. The throttle reliability. The springs that come with these things are very strong. The design is straightforward. I haven't seen one of these fail yet. I've, the only throttle issues I've seen are in the cable. I haven't seen an issue with this assembly yet. They are fantastic. Pros are the fuel delivery. The fuel pumps, they can fail. It's possible, everything fails. There's diaphragms and stuff in there, but I haven't had really many fail on me. I've replaced a few trying to solve issues, but typically the fuel pump is not the issue. And these fuel pumps are so dang cheap that you just wanna have two or three in your box anyways. 
The last pro is the weight. You got rid of that stock tank. This top plate weighs less, so your rear weight drops. Your up high center of gravity weight drops because you're going to be running a tank that goes right underneath the steering wheel, so you're moving the weight up front and down low. So what are the cons for the top plate? The cost? The plate itself and all the hardware that comes with it cost me $22. And the fuel pump, I bought a 10-pack on Amazon for $45. So even if, and even if you buy the fuel pumps individually, like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, then lastly, you have the tank. If you don't have the tank already, then you got to go buy that. And I don't know the cost of that off the top of my head, but I can't imagine it's too much. So I bet for under a hundred bucks, you can get to the top plate. And if you're going to put a hundred dollars anywhere in your cart and you're still running a stock tank, put it here, get this top plate. In conclusion, get rid of this thing. Dig it. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. I highly suggest getting to that top plate. It's well worth the money. I know money can be tight, but you're going to spend money on your cart. Get rid of that stock tank and put a top plate on it. Uh, leave any comments or suggestions down below in the comments. And please subscribe. Thank you.